Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the customer sales order preparation options. Before we begin, let us understand about the need of sales order and the relevance of this particular activity. Sales order is a formal commitment placed upon one party to another with all the relevant terms and conditions stated in such order to help govern and facilitate the closure of transaction for sales. When you receive a sales order from a customer, you need to ensure its timely execution. If you enter all sales orders received by you in the system, you will be able to track their execution position. This will also help you in your procurement as you can have a handy report on how much quantity is pending execution and how much you have in hand, etc. You can create a sales order under Sales Module of Align Books. The key functions of a sales order module are creation of a new sales order, modification of an existing sales order, deletion of an existing sales order. Configuration. Alignbooks provides you with the facility to configure your sales order documents with respect to choice of linking with parent document, choice of maintaining multiple series of documents, choice of sending email and SMS on creation or edit or approval of the document, and for approval system settings, etc. Click on configuration to configure this document. Let's now understand how to create a new sales order in simple steps. Click on order through sales module. You have three ways to prepare a new sales order. Enter fresh data for the first time, Open an existing document and use the copy feature of Align Books to make the necessary changes. This will save your time and efforts. If you have data in an Excel format, import the data and make the required changes. Let's enter the fresh set of data for the first time. Location. If you are handling multi-locations, select the required location from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-location on in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. If your desired location does not exist in the menu, you can create a new location by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop down menu. You can also edit or delete a location from here. Select a location to be edited or deleted and then click on the pencil icon. The location will be opened in edit mode and you can edit it and save it by clicking on save. You can delete it by clicking on Delete. Category. If you are classifying your document in different categories, select the applicable category from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured Document Classification On in Configuration, then Company Setup, then Sales Setup, then Basic. You can add, edit or delete a category by following the process described under the Location tab. Customer. Select a customer from the drop-down list for whom you are preparing a sales order. You can add, edit or delete a customer by following the process described under Location tab. Email. The system will also pull the email ID from the customer master. If you wish to change the same, you can do that here. Currency. If you are preparing a sales order in a foreign currency, select a currency from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-currency on, in, configuration, then company setup, then general setup. If your desired currency does not exist in the menu, you can add a new currency by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Conversion rate. The system will automatically get the conversion rate from the currency master if already created by you. If you wish to change the currency conversion rate for this particular document, you can do the same here. Salesman. The system will auto pull the salesman name from the customer master. If you wish to change the same, you can do that here. This field is available only if you have configured salesman wise billing on, in, configuration, then company setup, then sales setup. If the required salesman does not exist in the menu, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Order date. Enter the date which you wish to reflect in the document. 
By default, the system will take the current date. You can also pick a different date by just clicking on the calendar function. Order number, prefix. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual prefix, select a prefix from the drop-down list. If the required prefix does not exist in the list, you are able to create a new one by clicking on the plus option within the drop-down menu and input a name. Number. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual numbering, enter a document number here. Ref number. Here you may enter the customer or previous document number, if any. Ref date. Here you may enter the reference document's date. By default, the system will take the current date. You can also pick a different date by just clicking on the calendar function. From the drop-down menu, if rates are inclusive of taxes, else select exclusive. This field is available only if you have configured tax applicable in sales or purchase on in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. Also, this field will be active only if you have configured tax in rates document based in configuration, then company setup, then purchases setup. Tax. Select inclusive from the drop down menu if rates are inclusive of taxes, else select exclusive. This field is available only if you have configured tax applicable in sales or purchase on in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. Also, this field will be active only if you have configured tax in rates document based in configuration, then company setup, then purchases setup. Billing address. The system will trace and fill the billing address GST number and contact person details automatically from the customer master. You can make changes if you wish to. Shipping address. The system will trace and fill the shipping address details automatically from the customer master. You can make changes during this stage as well. Payment terms. The system will trace and auto-fill the payment terms from the customer master. You can make changes if you wish to. If the required payment term does not exist in the menu, you can create a new payment term by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Pull from. This field is used to import data from the parent document. Upon selection, a list of parent documents will be on display. If there is no parent document linked, the option will be shown as disabled. Look up. This option will work like a barcode. If you enter an item code, the system picks up the relevant details automatically. So far, we have entered the relevant details to clearly identify the customer and the sales order. We will now enter the specific item or product details to generate a sales order. Plus, click here to add a row to the table. X, click here to delete a row from the table. Item code. Select an item code from the drop-down list. Click on plus to add a new item. Description. The system will fill the description details automatically from the item master. Unit. The system will fill the unit details automatically from the item master. Quantity. Enter the item quantity here. Rate. The system will pick the rate from the price list. If you are not maintaining a price list, and have entered rate in your item master, it could be picked from there as well. Alternatively, you will have to enter the rate manually. Amount. The system will calculate the amount automatically, i.e. with the multiplication of quantity times rate. Posting GL. If you have created sales ledgers item-wise, the system will automatically fetch the GL selected by you in the item master. Remark. If you wish to put any remark against an item, enter that here. Item balance. The system will display the stock in hand of this particular item. The table is dynamic and many extra columns in the table will appear based on your configuration in company setup. If you set up these fields, you will need to enter relevant values in columns created for each item row. The columns which will appear based on configuration in company setup are column, Tax code will appear if general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on tax rate, general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on taxable, general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on tax amount, general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on pack unit, inventory, 
then basic, then separate packing unit on. Pack quantity, inventory, then basic, then separate packing unit on. Print description, inventory, then basic, then separate print description on. Item serial number, inventory, then item extended property, then item serial number tracking on. Batch number, inventory, then item extended property, then batch wise inventory on. Service date, inventory, then service, then input service date on. Service location, inventory, then service, then service location on. User defined item wise charges, sales setup, then billing setup, item level. User defined item attributes 1 to 5. Inventory, then item attributes required. Remark. Input here any remark pertaining to the document. Attachment. Here you may upload any supporting documents which can be used for the future reference. For example, you may attach a copy of order received from the customer. You can browse the location to attach the same. Click on the X to remove the attachment. User defined fields. During the sales setup, sales setup, then sales custom fields, if you have selected user defined fields, these will appear with the caption provided by you for these extra fields. You may enter the relevant values or data in the applicable field. Item value. The system will calculate the total item sales value based on the data entered in the system during the creation of a sales order. User defined extra charges or discounts, item level. These represent the total of item wise extra charges or discounts auto calculated from the items mentioned in the table. Taxable. This represents the total taxable sales value of all the items auto calculated by the system. Tax amount. This represents the total tax amount for all the items auto calculated for the items mentioned in the table. User defined extra charges or discounts, document level. If you have set to have any extra charges or discounts on document level, sales setup, then billing setup, document level, these will appear here with the caption given by you. You can enter relevant value against each item. Round off. Depending on the round off level selected by you, your document will be rounded off and the round off difference, rounded value, actual value, will be shown here. This field will not be available if you have configured round off none in configuration, then company setup, then sales setup, then basic, doc amount. This represents the total order amount. Click on save to save the document prepared by you. Click on print to print the document prepared by you. If you want to send an email or SMS, click on the arrow beside mail and click on email or SMS. Clear. Before clicking on this option, make sure that the data entered is no more required by you. The moment you click on this option, the system will erase all the data and give you an empty screen to enter fresh data. Import. Click on Import to import data and select a file from which the data is to be imported. Schedule. If you want to create a schedule for this document, click on Schedule. You have completed creation of new sales order. Open. Click here to open an existing sales order. Copy. Click here to copy the values from an existing sales order. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a call for further help. Happy aligning!